everyone here welcome to prospect channel tv thanks for subscribing to this channel if you have not please kindly do so by pressing the subscribe button thank you very much once again god bless you terrorism in nigeria i am capable have patience with me buari begs affected states The presidency has assured Nigerians again that the nation's armed forces are fully capable of dealing with the challenges of banditry and terrorism. It urged more patience from the people as the military takes appropriate steps to block gaps being exploited to unleash harm on its innocent citizens. The presidency, in a statement signed by Gaba Shewo, said that President Muhammadu Buhari has approved a joint military and police operation, especially targeted and combined Niger, Kaduna, Kastina, Zamfara, and Sokoto State to rid the area of bandits. It assured that surveillance will be approved with more night vision aircraft already deployed under Operation Accord. The operation was launched three weeks ago, she was said. Nigerian military has displayed its capabilities in the past and we show it again by dealing with the current challenges the statement quoted the president has saying president muhammadu buhari according to show called on the nigeria of his home state castina to be patient and supportive of the ongoing military operations he also sympathized with those who have lost their lives, their loved ones, sorry. He also sympathized with those who have lost their loved ones, sustained injuries and lost properties in the crisis. The president warned that taking to the streets for protest could distract the military operations. The major forests in northwestern Nigeria have been identified as a home to the bandits in the region. The operation will clear all this forest, she will further quote it, Buhari has said in the statement. So hello viewers, what do you think about this? Hmm. For me, our leaders have failed this country. Our leaders have failed us, we Nigerians. They have failed us woefully. These called Nigerian leaders are just selfish. What they do is just thinking about their pockets, not to represent us. But they should not forget that we all came from the same thing, which is dust. And we are going back to dust with nothing. If has a privilege, to be, if someone have a, has a privilege to be in a, 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 being a government today, you should not forget that tomorrow we will come when you will no longer be there, and then help too will still be far away from you. Those leaders should please help us. We are tired of what is going uh, uh, going around us. What is happening in this country. We are tired of burying our loved ones. We are tired of losing our homes. We are tired of losing our properties. I beg, who do Nigeria this thing? Who cost Nigeria? Waiting we do to deserve this kind of thing. Nigerian government should try and help us not telling us be patient, be supportive. 
We are tired of all these patients. We are tired of weeping. Our strength is failing us. Our truth is dried. We are tired. For how long are we going to wait for this Nigerian government to take action against this banditry? For how long these people will be persecuted? For how long are they going to take action? Are they going to take responsibilities of the citizens? People that supported you to be there. For goodness sake, if you think because you are there, the harm is not coming to you. Let me tell you, you are not God. One day, God has a way of dealing with situations like this. In a different way, God can come to you. This is really, really very, very sympathetic. The way Nigerians are being slaughtered every day by day by full and men. The way these people carry AK-47, parading the streets, parading villages, without being persecuted. This is very, very unfair. Voice in the wilderness is crying. Nigerians are crying. We are crying. This government should help us. It's okay. That's just what I have to say about this. Okay, so many persons have reacted to this. So let's hear from Nigerians who have reacted. Okay, someone said here, this cabal men think, think nothing more than them, their cow. When these demons resign, it's over. Nigerians would have either found a way to survive without an economy or take to crime as the, the norm, which is what is happening right now. Baba wants to stay in power till he dies and needs the country to be disorganized so it can be achieved. God bless us all still staying strong and hoping for a better tomorrow. It's not easy, but it's possible. This is just how, uh, this is just what I have to say about this. He said, okay, so I said it. I always said it that this administration does not mean well for Nigerians. Even the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra has been saying it, but Nigerians doesn't want to take him serious. He's okay. God will help us all, he said. Okay, someone said that you can't prong tree branches and accept the tree to die. Federal governments have just been fighting those who handle the gums at the battlefield. What are the sponsors? What is the federal government doing to get the sponsors of these people? He said. Okay, someone said that he is not serious. Does it mean only the states he mentioned have such challenge? What about Benway State, Plateau, and the rest? Or does it mean those states are not among Nigeria? This president should let us know now, he said. Okay, someone said here, Buari, you are number one terrorist in this faith state. If you can't handle your people, invite a uh, small child, soldiers, and they will wipe out these fools on that two days. Okay, someone said that this issue of patience and waiting, when is it going to end? Nigerians are tired of this. We will. This future tense statement is provoking because people are being killed every day. Is there any capability of saving Nigeria? Let's be sincere. Okay, someone said, yeah, patience, ba. Okay, until you finish us. Okay, someone said, yeah, have patience, have patience. Still, people are dying unnecessarily on hourly basis. What kind of president are you, Seth? Okay, someone said, yeah, God bless Nigeria and God help us. So, hello, guys. Don't forget to leave your opinion below the comment box. What do you think about this? 
Thank you very much for always stopping by. God bless you all. Bye.